Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6, talking a bit about some theories about how Godspeed could return. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos later this year. Okay, so first off, some of these theories are actually from Pagey, so credit goes to Pagey. So I'm going to be going through a few of his theories but also intertwining some of my own stuff, some of my own stuff that I'm going to be theorizing about. So, go check out Pagey, he made a video to do with how Godspeed could return, and this is my sort of iteration of it and talking about some other stuff. Okay, so, how can Godspeed return? Godspeed was first introduced to the TV show last season, season 5, in the Godspeed episode, which was essentially Nora's origin story, and what happened was he only appeared for the whole episode, and then he literally was just knocked out and then he was sent to prison because he actually didn't have speedster powers inside of him. He was more like trajectory and he needed a way to enhance his speed force so it would stay there permanently. So although I really, really, really liked him in this episode and, and I was really hoping to see him for more, I feel a little bit underwhelmed when I look back and see... Godspeed because Godspeed is such a big thing. I know he's not like the biggest character in the Flash comic books, but he has this presence of a real villain. He has this presence of a reverse Flash. He has this presence of a Zoom, especially in the comics. He is someone that I was very, very excited to see because I was such a big fan of him reading the recent comics that started in about 2016 and because I loved that run, I was super excited and I was really praying that he would be like the villain for the back half when they introduced him or they would set him up so that he would come back next season as the villain. So, yeah, maybe a little bit let down because of my expectations, but I still had some sort of doubt within inside me that they would do that because they were just introducing him out of the blue. So, yeah, I do hope he comes back, but let's talk about some of these theories. So, with The Flash Season 5's ending, the timeline was changed. So this was due to Reverse Flash manipulating the timeline because, you know, as they've said the whole season, the timeline is malleable and he found a way to actually erase Nora and that was his leverage to get out and we'll see him in his next crisis very, very soon. But with the timeline changing and erasing our current future version of Nora West Allen, so she's completely erased from this timeline, she doesn't exist in this version of the future. She obviously could exist in many different iterations in the same form, but you know, obviously with slight changes here and there. However, logically speaking, this means that the version of Godspeed we saw probably doesn't exist in this new timeline, because the reason for that version of Godspeed actually being stopped is due to Nora. So. Will we see another version of Godspeed, a version that is not the same as the one we saw last season because technically he shouldn't exist? Well, he should either be let loose, which we'll talk about in a sec, but he shouldn't have been stopped, so he would reign on if Nora was not there to stop him. But you would hazard the guess with the timeline changes, maybe he's erased or maybe it's a completely different version of himself. And so an actual speedster maybe with powers would be revealed if Godspeed were to ever come back in a different version to rival that of the Flash, more like his comic book counterpart, because as I said last season, he was powerful, but he was able to be defeated by a rookie speedster, that being Nora, and this was at the point of just getting her powers, so he obviously wasn't anywhere near the height of the powers he would have potentially got to if He'd been able to use the speed force permanently and Nora wasn't able to stop him. And so, let's move on. Another theory is this version does exist. The version we saw in Season 5, he does exist. He has the same origin, but Nora isn't there to stop him. He is let loose, he's able to perfect the formula, and he becomes the literal god of speed as he said in the episode. And that potentially we may see that version of himself return, because, yet. Yeah, this is the same version, but with the timeline changes, due to Nora not actually being there, he's able to become the villain he was supposed to become, to become the speedster he intended. And I think the reasoning for him being the god of speed obviously isn't the same as Savitar. I don't think he's like, or I don't think he would be like the god of speed, like the fastest speedster of all. 
I think that potentially he could build up to that, but at the point where he sort of perfects the formula, he would just be sort of normal speed because at this point he wasn't even as fast as Nora. So I doubt he would be much faster than the Flash if we saw that version return. I think the idea of him being the god of speed is he's, you know, controlling the speed force. He sort of manipulated it and I think this is just how he sees himself. It's not like a literal thing like Savitar. So Another question is, if he returns, will he be returning due to the fact that they cast B.D. Wong, who is a pretty famous actor, he's in quite a lot of stuff including Jurassic World, would that be the reason why he would return? Because it's kind of strange that they got a actor who is completely different from B.D. Wong, it's not B.D. Wong under the mask, we saw him, I don't think he's like a proper big actor, I think he's just an, an actor that came into an audition, you know, in Vancouver and was like, yo, I want to audition for this role, and they were like, yeah, you can be him for like a few scenes, and that's it, he barely said a line. So, is the inclusion of BD Wong a sign that potentially they want to bring him back because they cast someone so technically big, although he's not like the biggest actor, he's pretty big for the CW standpoint. So, just for an episode, did he just do that, or is there greater meaning behind this? So, I think another question is, if they bring back Godspeed and it's a different version, will they recast him? And I think that's a strong possibility if they were to ever bring Godspeed back, because the actor, as I said, I don't think he has much on his resume, and he wasn't very impressive. He said, like, one line maybe, he just smirked, and that was about it. Wasn't very intimidating at all, so... I think if they were to bring back Godspeed, I don't think it would be the same version. I think they would recast him, and it could be a different version of himself as an explanation of the recasting. Just say, oh, he's from a different timeline, so he never became this person, just like how Cicada changed this season, and I think that could be an explanation as to how to bring him back, but not bring that actor, but bring back a more prominent actor, or, you know, do a twist on it. So will he return to the present day and become the main villain and why would he come back so right now i can't think of a logical reason as to why he would return but we've had so many villains actually come from the future you would have to assume they would come up with some good reason and maybe it's something to do with nora maybe after crisis maybe nora returns and the timeline is somewhat fixed and godspeed comes back for nora so nora can't stop him i don't know that's kind of me going off on a limb off on like a really big tangent so I'm not sure about that but does he become the god of speed then eventually develops to become the red death and I think this is a theory that I find very interesting and I have found very interesting for a long time the idea that red death is probably going to be our villain next season and I really do hope he is because I'm really hoping for a speed of the villain with a mask who is a mystery who is very intriguing because I think we need to go back to basics but I've talked about that before so, if this version of Godspeed, or a version of Godspeed, becomes Red Death, like, because they can't use Batman on the CW, I think that would be a really interesting idea. So, make Red Death something completely unique, and build upon the short time we had in Godspeed in Season 5, recast him, have the first part of the season we have Godspeed, and then leading into Crisis, he's affected by Crisis, and he becomes Red Death. So, some of you guys might be asking, who is Red Death? So Red Death in the comics, he's only recently been introduced and I find that very interesting that they name dropped him last season as it was super recently that he was introduced in Dark Knight's Metal in the comic books. So I think the inclusion of that is a sure sign we're going to see him sometime very soon whether he's the villain of next season or not. But he is a member of the Dark Knights, a group of vigilantes from the Dark Multiverse whose goal is to assist the deity Barbatos plunged the central DC multiverse into darkness. The Batman of Earth minus 52, Batman and the Flash are forcibly fused together into one being. With Bruce getting the Flash's powers and a corrupt connection to the Speed Force while Barry's consciousness becomes trapped inside Bruce's body. So that's essentially what happens. He is from a dark multiverse and I think this could play into the idea of my theory to do with say Godspeed becoming Red Death because m with the Anti-Monitor coming that introduces the idea of the different 
versions of the multiverse with the antimatter verse and you know the material verse that we're in right now the normal multiverse that we know of today that we're in currently right now in our tv shows so i think that could link in and i think that's an interesting theory and i just really hope to see red death and i hope to see gods be returned but if i'm being totally honest i want him to be recast i want them to do a different version of Godspeed, a Godspeed that is more in line with the comics, a Godspeed that is more powerful than the Flash, a Godspeed that is a true Godspeed, a true God of Speed. So, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this theory video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment, also subscribe and share this video and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos over the summer it really means a lot that you guys are sticking with me and watching these videos as we head towards san diego comic con i'm gonna be there this year i've started a gofundme page so if you can contribute any little amount that means the most to me i will be doing a giveaway for every single person that helps me get to san diego comic con so thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye